Mona, what is it about this court that you just seem to enjoy keep on winning here? Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, yeah, if I'm playing here, I always play really good tennis, and I feel in the most important moments I I play one of my best tennis, and that's the reason why I play so good here. I don't know. I just feel really comfortable here. Last year was my first time in Australia, so always when I'm down here, I play really good tennis. So you, you like the just the place generally as well as playing tennis. Yeah, I think all the people are really relaxed, and maybe that's something that. I take into and into my game and um, yeah maybe maybe that and I just feel really comfortable here I'm um, walking around and just enjoy the time and maybe that's part of the reason. Are you starting to think now about possibly defending the title? Um, I don't know I see it match by match it's still two more matches to go but I think it, it won't get easy of course and semi-final it's going to be a tough match but I'm just I'm really happy to be in the semi-final again here. Yeah, I think it's it's a great success. I was um, last tournament semi-final, now here semi-final again, and maybe I can go one more step. We will see. How was the game today? Did you find it easy, difficult? It was a difficult match. I think she's she, you don't get a really good rhythm against her. She's mixing it up and she's playing some forehand slices. She played some really good drop shots and she can play a heavy ball. So it's not easy playing against her, but I feel like. Um, I, I played a good match, I mixed it up and then uh, I was serving well, so I think that helped me. Being very dominant, it looks like from the back of the court especially, you know, really putting a pressure on your opponents, is that something that you've taken pride in, that not, you know, really putting them on the back foot? Of course it helps, I think I worked a lot on my serve and if I have, I have a good serve, if I have a lot of first serves in, that helps me a lot to be in a good position for the next point and to put some pressure to my opponent, so I think um, that was something I worked on in the off season, and I think it helped me a lot so far. And also, yeah, just trying to I have good shots, and just trying to play them and just to put the pressure on my opponent. Is that something you need against the real heavy hitters, guys like the Williams and people like that? That you know they're strong from the back of the court as well. You feel as though you need to be able to match them. Yes, of course. I think you have to put them in a difficult situation on the court and just to put pressure against them. I had some some good matches against Azarenka or against the top players, so um, I think that helps you, especially if you're serving well, if you're returning well, and then you have a a good position for the point and have maybe an easier ball next. But um, yeah, I think especially these two shots are helping you a lot in tennis. Are you a better player than you were a year ago? I think so, yes. I think uh, I improved a lot. I think my serve improves. I, my last year was my first time on the tour and I feel like I learned so much last year playing all these tournaments, playing against the top players and I think that helped me a lot just to to play my best tennis in the most important moments and just to be a little bit more relaxed on the court. Maybe it's the same question, but are you playing better now this year than you were this time last year? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I, I feel like that. Um, my serves got better and I feel like uh, my ground strokes are better and I have uh, a better percentage. I just feel, feel pretty good right now. But of course last year I was playing great tennis as well, especially here, but um, I don't know why maybe a little bit more confidence this year. So, so theoretically you should win then? If you, if you... <laughs> but I think the other players maybe improved as well, but <laughs> you never know. Um, yeah, but you have to play your best tennis every day, so I think uh, you never know what's happening tomorrow, but so far I've played really good matches and I just hope I can continue. And physically, feeling okay, you haven't spent too much time on court, do you think that'll help not only for this tournament but leading into the Australian Open? Yes, I had a lot of matches and I think that's what I wanted to go, to go into the Australian Open and I think physically I'm feeling feeling good. Of course, well, a lot of matches, some some close matches, but um, I feel like I'm, I'm fit enough to do that. Last year you played the qualifying, this year you haven't done that. Does that change anything for you at this stage of the tournament? Of course it helps a little bit if you have three more matches in your body, I think um, that makes you a little bit tired, but last year I think I was just so happy round by round and that didn't really matter, so, um, but of course this year it makes a difference if you, that you don't have to qualify.